all get here? With the towers, your friend with the really big wolf, and our Valkyrie gift for transporting the worthy, we were able to bring the survivors here to hold Mimi's Holt. Are there many survivors? More than we could have hoped for. We're tending the wounded here, but others have begun to set up camp further in the Holt. Is there any chance Freyr... I'm afraid he was lost, Atreus. Right. Um... Thanks for patching me up. Take it easy, you took quite a beating. She's still out there, you know. Not for long. Freya spoke about her. I'd kill to see that Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Ash, it's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort... And knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki. It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Were either of your weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have a look at them. Huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she'd really... Skilled her? Loki! Hey, glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just... Happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know Sorry, me. Sorry, I'm glad you're okay. I just gotta make sure my dad is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go find him. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyer fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true, and incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! Y'all remember that time old... I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. 
I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Ah. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildas Vini. And it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we knew him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. Thank you for saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Glad you are too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He was to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. It seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see.
Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. You are ready. Remember our promise.
did you see in there, brother? Well... One I had never imagined. And what now? to it. Ah, uh, Flair, we should probably talk about Ganar. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Ganar pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find yeah, her than she one finds for the us. Big boy himself. Skull. Skull. A few dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although there won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya, Mimir. My lady. Shield maidens. Blessed the war. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories in ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mimir. I appreciate your kind words.
Where to first? We can take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go. Fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head. Riddle solved. Mimir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Yeah. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if he survived the battle. Another time. We must focus. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just... Yeah. Don't know if you've heard, but... We're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in neither Valir. We will be there. Wanna talk for a spell? Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. A true asshole <laughs> he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. 
I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. What is wrong? I should have changed. Sewn some morning guard. Or not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
love you. Sentry. Black Puss. It's bigger the more you take away. <laughs> 